Ooh. This solves some problems, right? Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be continuing our A to Z challenge as Albania. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe since only 20% of you are subscribed and you can become a member today. So Albania, huh? Everybody knows them. They're a minor nation right here in the Balkans, starting off in a pretty difficult position. The only thing we have going for us as Albania is we're guaranteed by Venice, so uh, we shouldn't be the first nation the Ottomans declare on. And we have George Skanderbeg right here, a 656 as a ruler and a 555 as a general. So um, I actually have the achievement for Albania where we need to conquer uh, Iberia and the Caucasus, but I'm still gonna try and do that for the video as the secondary goal, but the primary goal is gonna be taking care of the Ottomans, if you know what I mean. And we'll be raiding all the way from the Balkans to Iberia to the Caucasus. Just like you can raid your way with the sponsor of today's video, Raid Shadow Legends. In Raid Shadow Legends, you can explore millions of champion combinations and master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, and PvP arena matches. There's also hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 600 champions, all with unique skills. So raid your way today and click the links in the description to download Raid on your phone or PC. What I like the most about Raid is the tactical element of equipping champions with the right gear and going to battle against dungeon bosses. Like Gallic, for example. He's my favorite champion right now. I really like the way he looks and I love his powers to be honest. And he's part of my favorite faction too, the Orcs. Oh, and by the way, Raid gets updates every month and this month they just released a huge new Doom Tower update. There are two huge new bosses to take on, new secret rooms to discover, and most importantly, new artifact sets to win. If that's not enough, the whole month's packed with awesome events and tournaments, including one very special event with a brand new feature, Super Raids. So, if you want to get a huge head start in Raid, click the link in the description or scan the QR code and you'll get the epic hero Shinoru, who's amazing in Doom Tower by the way, 200k silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard. So you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in game. All of these treasures will be waiting for you in your inbox right here and they're available for the next 30 days for new players only. So click the link in the description and I'll see you in game and you can raid your way today. Now back to the video. Alrighty, here we are as Albania now. I'm gonna do my classic opening of uh, declaring on Serbia because, well, I restarted six times <laughs> trying to fight the Ottomans in the first war. That didn't work out for me. So, uh, yeah, let's ally Hungary. We can ally Hungary day one for some reason as Albania. You can get it pretty easily. It happens more often than not. Boom. Now, we're also gonna wanna send a, a missionary over here and uh, reduce missionary maintenance. Once the next month takes over, we're gonna get some orthodox zealots and we'll flip the orthodox. Pretty nice. All right, let me, uh, actually, let me do some estate stuff first. All right, estate stuff done. Now, let me uh, fix up my army a bit. We don't need that horse just yet. Too expensive for us. Of course, we have the Chad General Skanderbeg, and he's an awesome ruler as well. He's gonna die pretty soon. <laughs> Let's uh, transfer from Constantinople over here. Improve with Aragon? Yeah. Let's improve with Aragon. And I'll uh, scornfully insult the Pope. <laughs> so they'll ally me quicker, and then I'll spy on Serbia. Now we just need to wait to get um, Miltek 4 before Serbia does. There we go, Orthodox Zealots. Accept demands. Oh no, they forced us to submit. <laughs> horror. More like, uh, not horror. <laughs> you know, maybe Albania isn't such a hard start, right? We're allied to Hungary, we're guaranteed by Venice, and now we can ally Aragon too. So, uh, yeah. Diplomatic situation sorted. Let's check out, uh, Serbia's allies. Hmm, Bosnia and Byzantium. Alright, that's not actually, that's, uh, that's not gonna be very easy. Hmm. Well, hopefully we'll declare on them at the same time the Ottomans declare on Biz. Uh, and we'll be able to vassalize Bosnia or something. Still, I'm waiting for Miltek 4. Skanderbeg in charge of the army. Free army recruited. His son in charge of that one. Miltek 4, check. Stabbed up to get this mission for infantry combat ability and movement speed, check. Rivaling Serbia and Bosnia? Check. Discipline advisor? Check. Oh yeah, it's wartime, baby. Co-belligerent Bosnia? I mean, might as well, right? I kind of don't want to fight silly, though. Yeah, I won't co-belligerent Bosnia. Let's go. And I beat up Serbia. I did have to peace out Bosnia and Biz, though. Byzantium is about to fall. I don't really care. Let's see what we can take from Serbia here. Obviously, the most important thing is to take the gold mine. Can we full annex them, though? Actually, I'll do this. I'll take these three for myself and vassalize the rest of them. Because I uh, do want them to keep their forts here. And they could help us out. Boom, there we go, nice. Now we got the gold mine, we need to core it, lower autonomy, blah blah blah, you know the rest. Okay, now I'm spying on Bosnia, and I'll spy on these guys too. So far, so good, right? 
Not bad, not bad at all. Let's see if we can get Albania or Iberia. This is the duality of man right here. Of course, I'm being guaranteed by Venice, but I'm also being warned by Venice. And Venice just rivaled me as well. <laughs> and now they've revoked our guarantee. I thought the AA couldn't revoke a guarantee unless we went to war. I guess it's because they rivaled me, right? Oh, well, at least we're still allied to uh, Hungary and uh, Aragon over here. Well, what do you know? Well, at least Aragon and Hungary joined. I wish they would have declared while we were still guaranteed by Venice because part of this strategy is being declared on by the Ottomans. Let's see what we can do, huh? All right, this is how the Ottoman war is going so far. Um, I have Constantinople. They have uh, this province right here. We're about to get uh, Salonic. I don't know if we're about to get Gallipoli. And I think I waited too long to ask for military access through these guys over here so Aragon can uh, come to me. Not exactly sure where their armies are. Actually, uh, it's right here. I think they should have another one, though. Hmm. Not too good so far, but I think we can... Uh, managed to do something. Oh, I can actually piece them out. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go for uh, a little bit more. Hey, I don't think these guys want to be in this war anymore. Look at this. Okay, so they give me Avalonia and they give this to Serbia and they revoke their core. Not something I'm interested in, guys. Not something I'm interested in. Aragon, what are you doing with these 5k troops over here? You guys are riding a donkey. This doesn't look like a horse to me. Please get over here and help me out. All right, so uh, they're starting to uh, reconsolidate all the allied armies have been defeated and i think it's time for me to peace out now i'm gonna get my core back and i'm gonna take their forts in gallipoli Salonic, and anabolu uh can i get some money yeah 39 ducats i think this is a pretty good peace deal and i will release byzantium so uh there we go okay not bad huh not bad for a first war if venice was still guaranteeing me, and the Ottomans would still declare on me, by the way, even if they were guaranteeing me. This could have gone in a different way, and we could have taken a lot more, but I am satisfied with this uh, first war. Now, here's the thing. The second war against them, we gotta declare it on them. So, uh, yeah, time to find some more allies or something. But good start so far. I'm satisfied. I know it's a more serious start than we usually do in A to Z, but, uh, yeah, not bad at all. Ah, time to get some sweet, sweet gold, huh? You know what I'm saying? Well, the Iberian wedding just happened, and I lost Aragon. I feel like we gotta go Diplo for our first AD group. Right now, I'm just trying to find more allies before uh, we need to fight the Ottomans again, pretty much. Uh, this mission will help us out a lot, but it can only fire in 1468. It will increase a lot of nations' opinion about us. And it'll give us Diplo rep and improved relations. Right now, I'm trying to ally uh, Castile and Austria. We'll see how that goes, but uh, we're making money. Things aren't too bad right now. I'm just uh, scared of when this truce runs out. That's uh, all I can say, pretty much. You know, this is what I like to see. This is what I like to see. I royal married uh, Castile too. Oh. Now this has helped me relax a bit, okay? We beat the Ottomans with Serbia, Hungary, and Aragon. I think we can beat them again with uh, Serbia, Byzantium, Hungary, Austria, Castile, and Florence too. Uh, hmm. I want to ally someone even more powerful than Castile and Austria though. Maybe someone like Poland? Hmm, we'll see. But things aren't too bad. This uh, Venetian uh, warning is holding me back though. I am gonna fight them soon. Well, my truce with the Ottomans is up now, as we can see right here, and I did have to uh, dissolve my alliance with Hungary because Poland declared on them, and I don't want to get uh, pummeled by Poland. So sorry about that, Hungary, but uh, it is what it is, you know. Oh my god, these uh, guys in Byzantium, they destroyed the fort in Macedonia and Gallipoli. Dude. Oh well. Hey, there we go. We got this nice mission now. Stand against the Turks. We get some uh, good Diplo stuff. Let's see if we can ally someone else due to this oh diplo relations plus one nice well no but uh this might help me out uh ally poland which i should be able to do i think uh this dissolving of the alliance with hungary i might declare on them pretty soon sorry hey like i said earlier nothing personal and i just allied poland too so uh it sucks that they don't have lithuania but we're still doing good all right venice aren't warning me anymore i gotta take advantage of this and i should probably declare on uh hungary too Oh, the turntables, huh, Hungary? Sorry. What can I say? You guys weren't allied to Austria. It's always your downfall. Peaced out silly, made them orthodox. Just chat Albania things. This is going pretty, uh... Well, I do have to say, the Ottomans are fighting a different war. They, uh, they're not too focused on us right now. Nice. I think this will be nice growth for us. Right, right, uh, I wanna peace out, uh, Bosnia. That's right. All right, time to stay in this war forever because, well, Bohemia is never gonna peace out. Oh, they did peace out. <laughs> All right, let's get some border war going. Uh, I'm gonna give these two back to uh, Serbia, of course. They're their cores. I'm gonna get some provinces here, release Transylvania, give them some forts, you know, the huge, the huge. And I think I'm gonna take these for myself. 
Nice. Ah, I love the border gore. I know we're expanding in the exact region where, well, it's not really beneficial for us to expand, but, uh, you know, I'm just growing my power until I declare on these guys right here. Actually, what? Hold on. Okay, they're in a pretty big war right now. Uh, Mamluks, Akuyunu, Beatley, Sajam? Who are they actually fighting? Oh, they're helping out his and Kaifa. Okay, look, they only got one fort in Europe. Ooh. Well, let me just uh, get my army over here and uh, don't tell the Ottomans, but I think this is it for them. Let me just uh, release Transylvania first. There we go. Uh, and I'm also going to give them this province, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hemesh. Boom. Now I don't got to pay for these forts, which hopefully they won't destroy as well. Got my army in here. Time to core the rest of these. And uh, let's declare a reconquest for, uh, well, this province maybe? Yeah. All right. Nice. Marching straight to Constantinople. Uh, let me just uh, tell one guy to go over here, though. And yeah, we got Poland in, we got Austria in. We're looking pretty strong. Tunis is gonna be a problem to deal with. I don't think I can call in Castile. Yeah, they're fighting against Naples. I may be able to call them in after that. Let's see how this goes, huh? And we got Constantinople. I don't think we're gonna be crossing, though. Uh, they do have naval superiority. Hmm. Well, maybe my guys can go around, huh? Hey, yo, I can call in Castile. Maybe now we're gonna get naval superiority, huh? I really wish Biz hadn't destroyed the fort in Gallipoli, man. It would have helped us out so much right now. Should I build one for them? Hmm, I think I will. Please don't destroy it this time, guys. All right, they're out of that uh, other war with uh, a bunch of nations, so they are gonna start focusing on us. Luckily, my guys are starting to come in from this side. So we'll see. If the Ottomans arrive at the doorsteps of Gallipoli and Constantinople, I'll just beast them out. Tunis is out, so that eased my burden a little bit. Pretty good. Inspire resistance. This is a pretty good mission. All right, that's enough of this war with the Ottomans. I was uh, waiting to occupy Trabzon so I could uh, get and release Trebizond and we could expand into the Caucasus, but it's simply too far away for me. And we got a call for pizza. Pretty soon my allies will start piecing out. So I'm gonna take uh, Coachelli and uh, Kirk Kelise right here for myself so I can release Bulgaria and uh, so I can have this fort pretty much. And I'm gonna give all of these green provinces right here back to Bez. I'm also getting uh, war reps, I think. Yeah, and let's get some, uh, well, let's uh, get 48 ducats from them. Nice. All right, well, that's pretty much the uh, the Ottomans dealt with. Now I can release Bulgaria. Pretty nice. Use them for reconquest too. Biz has some cores left as well. Serbia has some cores left. In the next war, we're taking the entirety of the Balkans. And uh, I'm gonna snake my way up to Caucasia. So, the first goal is going great. Taking care of the Ottomans. And the secondary goal, getting Albania or Iberia. Uh, I think I said it. Maybe I didn't. I already have that achievement. I'm still doing it anyway. You know, the best way to get Iberia is to just PU Castile, bro. Just PU them, forehead. And... Uh, uh, yeah, I'm waiting on that. Otherwise, I'm gonna fight them. We'll see. What should we get for our second idea group? Hmm, I'm thinking offensive. Boom, boom. Nice. All right, big war time again. I'm gonna declare on Herzegovina, Cobelligerent, Wallachia, get them in my realm. Cobelligerent, Venice too, get some of these provinces. Call in all of these guys. Why not? Let me tell you guys, man, it's not easy just sitting around doing nothing and letting all your allies and subjects do all the hard work, right? Look at these guys, man. Good job, Florence and Austria, sieging down Venice. Time to make Wallachia my subject. Man, I'm just blazing through ideas and uh, tech with uh, this 645 guy. Uh, this guy's not bad. I did disinherit a 022, by the way. Hey, time to take a huge amount of ducats from Venice. I'm also gonna take some provinces. I did co-belligerent them. I should have taken more reps, huh? <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. This is A to Z after all, right? Hey, there we go. Nice. Hey, we're looking pretty good right now, huh? I'm liking that. Who's next on the chopping block? It might be Hungary, actually. You know what? Transylvania is actually a, a pretty good march. I am gonna accept that. Oh, Hungary have allied Austria. Well, I guess I'll leave them alone for now. Listen, the Ottomans... They're losing to the Mamluks right now. Or maybe they're not losing, but... Yeah, they're fighting the Mamluks. You know what the Ottomans fighting the Mamluks means? That's right, another war against them. Let's declare for, um, hmm, Edirne? Nice. Can't believe I uh, lost Coachelli and now we can't cross again. Luckily, uh, Aragon is doing some stuff over here. Brought my Castilian ally over here. They're so powerful. They already have Portugal too. Oh, it's gonna be a juicy PU when I get it. And I know I'm gonna get it, by the way. I'm manifesting it right now. See how I'm manifesting that PU? I just gotta trust tomorrow on my throne. Of course, the stab loss wasn't nice, but mm -mm -mm, I'm gonna love that PU. It's actually pretty crazy that this uh, happened a couple of minutes after I said it. All right, full sieging the Ottomans, easy as pie. Well, not really full sieging. We still need to get this one and this one. Let's not get into specifics though. What we will get into is what I get from 
this war. Giving Biz all their cores back, giving Bulgaria these two back, haha, <laughs> exclave funny. Now they can uh, spawn some Serbian and Bulgarian separatists, and maybe we'll get those provinces for free. I also snaked up the trap zone and got war reps. Nice. Okay, let's spy on these guys over here now. By the way, continuing our A to Z tradition of getting civil war and internal conflicts? Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Nah, jokes aside, this isn't a problem at all. This is uh, going surprisingly well, even though I think it is the most difficult country we've played in uh, A to Z so far. Well, the most difficult start, I would say. Or maybe not. We allied Aragon and Hungary right off the bat. Well, it was unavoidable, to be honest. <laughs> ah, it's fine, it's uh, not that big of a disaster. Ah, nice, uh, Castile wanted to get in on the fun too and they just got internal conflicts. By the way, I'm getting sick of helping out Austria against France. Come on, dude. And there we go. Nice. Hey, we're a great power. Three provinces in Caucasia? Don't mind if I do. Thank you for accepting this, uh, Sam Tske. Can we diplovasalize anyone else? Nah, I don't think so. But we're gonna get involved over here pretty soon. Let's fight, um, hmm. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I'm just stabilizing a bit now, you know how it is. Alright, we're about to integrate, uh, Byzantium. And, uh, hopefully <laughs> these guys will, uh, stop being disloyal. Come on, guys, it's getting annoying. Hey, there we go. We have Byzantium. Nicer name placement. Some of them are still this loyal not for very long though not for very long truce with the ottomans is about to run out once again and our uh, primary goal or was it secondary I, I don't care beating up the ottomans is the main thing now let's wait for that truce huh i'm also trying to get some pus i can get one with poland maybe and uh well i need to stop improving with france because apparently they got an air i should probably royal mary muscovy huh they're like the easiest nation to get into a PU, like them or Russia. All right, let's uh, let's beat up the Ottomans again, huh? I want to get some money this time too. All right, first off, let me get all their money and uh, war reps, and then let's uh, give all of these back to my. Well, I guess I can't give all of them back, huh? Let's do uh, something like this, maybe. Nah, let's do something like this. All right, all right, pretty good. About two more wars, and the Ottomans should be done. Ooh, now we're a kingdom. Still losing a ton of money. Let's uh, let's do some stuff in Georgia. Feed all of this to my subject? Why not? I don't feel like coring anything, to be honest. Boom. All right, we have about a uh, half of cock. Well, a third of Caucasia. Looking good so far. Let me uh, set all of this stuff as provinces of interest. So uh, maybe these guys will build claims on them. Is that everything? No. But at least now we know what is everything. <laughs> Am I right? This too. There we go. Now what? When does our truce with the Ottomans run out? Hmm. Wait, we don't? Oh, we do have a truce. Oh, 37? That's a while, huh? Hey, we integrated Serbia. Pretty nice. Looking good, looking good. I'm still drowning in debt, by the way. <laughs> now here's the question. <laughs> Should I claim Castile's throne? I can. They do have an heir with a weak claim. So uh, I think this is the next step in our, uh, in our run over here. Let me just dissolve the alliance with them you do have the cb there we go it's gonna be very hard uh fighting them but uh i'm just gonna wait for this truce okay now i can ally france too maybe create some favors with them and call them into this war i think that'll make it easier so uh yeah all right so i'm helping out austria once again you know i helped them out like 17 times they haven't come into one of my wars maybe the first one with the ottomans either way my truce with castile is up claim on throne take capital toledo thank you kind allies for not joining any of my wars what's up with the attitude huh attitude towards enemies attitude towards enemies distant war once again i did ask austria and france to reduce their opinion of uh castile actually i didn't ask france hmm let me wait a couple of months maybe i can make him reduce opinion nah i can't i need to wait 10 wars for that actually so uh yeah let's try this huh Listen, I always say stuff like, oh, where's their army? Why am I beating them so easily? But, uh, dude, where's their army? Why am I beating them so easily? Also, where are my subjects' armies? Uh, I can't see them anywhere. Hmm, are they in the fog of war? Do they even have armies? Yeah, they do. So where are they? Still can't call in anyone, by the way. No one wants to help me out. Why do I even have these allies? I, like, needed them for the first 30 years of the game. Well, at least they can't get, uh, past a lot of my forts. And Aragon is dying to, uh, Wallachian noble rebels right here. Meanwhile, I am sieging down Iberia. Now, a problem I think I'm gonna encounter is I need uh, around 84% war score versus Castile. And uh, I don't know exactly how much I can get just by occupying Iberia. They do have colonies too, so we'll see. Their armies are literally non-existent though. I beat them down like 17 times by now. Ah, of course, bankruptcy. How could I... Uh 
How can I forget, you know? It is a tradition, like I said. It is a tradition. Oh great, now Austria rattled me. Bruh, you know, I feel like it's going downhill, but I also feel like it's actually going pretty good. So I'm probably gonna have to fight the noble rebels here too. Actually, I'm sieging down this. Let's see how far we... Oh, well, would you look at that? Albania forms a union over Castile. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do, definitely. Uh, Actually, I'm gonna keep going so I can uh get some more money from them. I'm literally about to go bankrupt. Okay, now I feel like I can piece them out. So, union over Castile. How much money can we get? We can actually get quite a bit. Nice. Boom, there we go. Look at all these subjects. Wait, why is Leon free? Oh, right, right, right. They're a vassal of Castile. Bruh. You're telling me I'm gonna have to fight France for one province? Now, what are exactly the requirements for Albania or Iberia? Do I have to own it directly or can a subject own it? Hmm, let me check. Ah, so it's own or have a subject own all of Iberia and Caucasia. Now, I can't see it right here because like I said, I already have it. So that's why it doesn't show up over here for me. But yeah, I can have a subject own them. So to get this uh, run done successfully, all we need to do is conquer Caucasia. We already have about a third of it. That was our secondary goal. And we need to take uh, Navarre from France. That's going to be easy as pie. And uh, yeah, primary goal was to defeat the Ottomans. I'm going to do that like right now. I'm still very poor though. <laughs> All right, let's beat up uh, the Ottomans. I really need money. I want to give a quick shout out to Karebas, a subject that actually does something. I just, please, 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 please. I just want to get rid of this. I just want to get rid of it. Hmm, sounds about right. I keep forgetting they have these lands over here. Hopefully they lose it to uh, Muscovy or someone like that. Who was this? And Turkish rule? Why, thank you. I will. Still, I'm uh, trying to stop myself from going bankrupt. Okay, only losing two ducats a month. I think uh, I think we're on the come up here. Let me just uh, siphon Aragon's income. Uh, can I do? Yes, siphon Portugal's income to pay off one loan. Oh my god. I wonder how Bohemia keeps uh, getting free from Austria. This is like the third time they're independent. You know, I feel like I, uh, I feel like I have to declare a money war. So uh, let's hit the Mamluks with a little trade dispute, shall we? All right, go do stuff. I didn't notice that Persia formed, and I am gonna have to fight them as well. All right, I pieced out all of their allies for money and war reps, and it's time to piece them out for uh, money and war reps. Yep. Please, please let me pay off loans. Ah yes, paying off high interest loans, mmm, that feels so good. Well, time to do another one of these, huh? Uh, yeah, yep. Alright, not bad. Ooh. Well, at least this solves some problems, right? Is this divine punishment? I don't know, I don't think so. Irish nemesis, we meet again. Alright folks, I had to end that war with France because my subjects were starting to get disloyal because I went bankrupt. But we have completed our first goal, officially. The Ottomans, they don't exist anymore. And I think I've proven so far that, well, we're basically gonna accomplish our second goal very easily too. I mean, we already did the first hardest thing, which is, well, starting to grow by defeating the Ottomans. Then we did the second hardest thing, which is we own all of Iberia. Right, with the exception of Navarra. Let's not get into specifics, alright? And we're gonna get all of Caucasia pretty easily. The hardest war over there is gonna be probably versus Persia, only to get the province of Ardabil. Everything else is a walk in the park. And I'm happy to say that I will declare this as our third successful A to Z campaign. Hey, two successes in a row after Adjuran last week. Who'da thunk it, huh? Who'da thunk? But yeah, there's really no point in continuing this when our goals are basically within reach, and I think this video has dragged on for long enough. So, another big, big success as Albania in our A to Z series. We started off as a two province manor, beat up some small guys around us like Serbia and Bosnia, called in a bunch of allies to defeat the Ottomans, kept pummeling and pummeling and pummeling on the Ottomans, expanding into them, getting vassals, reconquering their cores. Another subject right here in Caucasia, Samske, claimed the throne of Castile because we got the Trastamara dynasty ourselves, although I don't think that's necessary to claim a throne, but we did get the Trastamara dynasty ourselves, claimed their throne, beat them up very easily, and uh, really the biggest problem we have is uh, some financial issues, which is nothing strange for the A to Z series. We did go bankrupt, so that's a big success continuing our tradition. We did get civil war, continuing another tradition, and we are about to get internal conflicts and the peasants war, which will be even more excellent. So I'm calling it a success before we uh, nation ruin ourselves. If you want to continue playing, this save file is available for all YouTube members in the Save Games Discord channel. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe since only 20% of you are subscribed and you can become a member today.
and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.